The standards editor is used to create and edit the standards that trials will be measured against or that will be used in a QC job template. To create a new standard, click New Standard and give it a name. In production, this should be something meaningful. A description can be added if you would like. You will need to connect your instrument if it isn't already connected. Click the Measure button and the Measure window will open. If you set Measurement Trigger to Online in your instrument settings, you will be able to trigger the measurement from your instrument. If triggering the measurement through the software, you will be able to set the number of measurements to average and turn on the screen preview in this window. A measurement can be triggered once all three pressure indicators show even pressure. The measure window will be closed and the results will be displayed. The spectral tab displays all of the spectral data for your measurement. Here you will see a graphic depicting how your instrument sees the measured standard at its different geometries, a spectral graph displaying the spectral curve for each angle, as well as the measurement values. Right-clicking the measurement values will allow you to export the results as a CSV file. Selecting one or more geometries while holding Shift on your keyboard will only display those on the spectral graph. The Texture tab will display an image of your sample as well as the texture values, such as sparkle grade and coarseness. The image will update for each geometry you select. Again, you can right-click to export these as a CSV file. The final tab is the Properties tab. This is where you can add any properties or property libraries that you created in the Properties Editor. Depending on the property type, you can double-click it to change its value. At the bottom of this window are your tolerances. If you click this plus button here, you can create a new tolerance on the fly that is only available to this standard. Double click it to edit or remove it using this X. Alternatively, you can browse to your database and use any tolerances you created in the tolerance editor. If you choose copy, a copy of this tolerance will be tied to this standard. If you update this tolerance in the Tolerance Editor, it will not be updated for this standard. Copied tolerances will have a white background. If you choose Link, any standards using this tolerance will be updated if the tolerance is updated in the Tolerance Editor. This is convenient when working with large amounts of standards that share the same tolerance. Linked tolerances show up with a black background. The asterisk next to our standard indicates it has not yet been saved. You can click the Save Standard icon from the navbar to save a single standard to your database, or go to File, Save All Standards to save everything at once. When working with multiple standards, you can also group them together using a Color Standard Library. Click New Standard Library and simply drag and drop the standards you wish to add. Selecting a library will display a preview of each of the standards it contains. Expand your library and click the trash icon if you wish to remove a standard. Don't forget to save your standards library as well.